All right, welcome back for some more Pokemon Ultra Sun Master Lock Challenge. Last time we found out that Nebby was being a rascal again and escaped from the back and ran into a cape, and we're gonna be following him. But first, we're gonna be getting our encounter on this area. But for that, we are going to be moving Keaton to the top spot. And let's see what we can get. Probably an Oricorio. Which I'm not particularly fond of, like I stated the last chapter. But we'll see. No, it's a flat baby. <laughs> Silly name. <laughs> but it's actually pretty good Pokemon. Fairy type. And it's a female flat baby. Can flat baby be male? I'm very, very sure. Let's go for a good boys. Shouldn't KO it. Fair. No, not even close. Oh yeah, I forgot. Flat babies have amazingly high special defense. Just another Echo Bow should do double the damage. There we go. And she's gonna go a lucky gent. And of course she's gonna go call for help. Let's hope nothing shows up. I did. Alright, let's headbutt the other Flabebe. Bonk. Ah, headbutt is a one hit KO. Yeah, as you can see. They don't have the best defense, but they have very, very high special defense. So it's definitely nice to have her on our team. Let's try to catch her with a heal ball, of course. Yeah, in this type of challenge, actually, heal balls are, are coming in very handy. You'd normally, uh, you'd, on a normal playthrough of Pokemon, you'd really have no use for these Pokeballs unless you really liked how they looked. And more experience. This encounter was over 350 experience points. That was nice. Right, Flat Baby 6... Uh, uh, what am I saying? Flat Baby's data is gonna be added to our Pokedex and we're gonna have to nickname her. And I will be right back. Once I decide a nickname, once again. Well, that didn't take too long. Yeah, we're gonna name this flower... Flower! Man, I'm so creative. There we go. Right? So we now got Flabebe or Hana. Which is flower. And we're gonna check her out. That's some nice H HP. 35 HP for level 12. That's gonna be... Um, of course, he <laughs> increased attack, reduced special attack. Alert to sounds, so she's gonna be quick, kind of. Love babies aren't particularly quick Pokemon. Oh well. That's what we got for here, and we're not complaining. Let's go. Of course, we're gonna get it interrupted again, but let's go get Nebby. And there's the Ricorio I thankfully didn't get. This should be a really nice experience. Let's... Huh, I really wanna spend too much of my PP since both of my moves and kitten are only 15 PP. We're gonna have to spend two headbutts to take down this Oricorio. We have some Leopard Berries in the ether, but I would really like to save them for much later in the game. 411 experience points, this is a good place to grind, apparently. Not that we need to, because I believe the boss of this island's Pokémon should be around level 15. Don't quote me on that. And nice, we get Spark on Thoron. He has a very, very good move pool, actually. So, do we get rid of Vice Grip, Power 55? 65, but it's a normal move and it has 10 more PP. I think we're gonna get rid of Bite. Since we're not fast enough to abuse the flinching. And Spark might paralyze and it's an overall better move, in my opinion. All of our Pokemon are getting levels. Nice! Now we're gonna explore our old moves since 
explorers shouldn't be too useful in a non-competitive scenario like this challenge. Nice, free item. I just noticed the, the breath from my character. That's a really neat detail. Okay. Hey, Nebby. I don't remember if this was a thing in the original Sun Moon. I remember I had trouble finding this cave because... It's kind of well hidden. No, oh, I'm, I'm sure. Now I'm sure this wasn't in the original game since these guys weren't there. Fee, really run like this? Sure, it's tiring. Wow, so the Pokemon Alola meet in places like this too, huh? And there's a robotic Alola. Salutation. Calm yourself, Sussy. There is only one thing we are here to confirm. We must find someone strong enough to protect the blinding one. Let us see if you might be the one. Uh. What? Excuse me? You were challenged by Ultra Recon Squad dolls. Ultra Recon Squad. Oh, nice battle theme. Ultra Recon Squad dolls sent out Furfro. Oh, this is a cool battle theme. I can get behind that. Sweet. Okay, our kitten should have the upper hand since we have Echo Voice and that is a special move. And even if he has fur coat, we should surpass it. We're not gonna get too much damage too much by this because. Exactly because of that, of fur coat. And a couple more Echo Voices should do the trick. Not sure if I should be spending all of them. But it's okay. I'm gonna give him the battle theme. Too bad it gets a little bit slowed down. 528 experience points, almost a complete level up. And Juni got to level 14, and Hannah to level 13. Nice. You defeated all Dragon Squad dolls. I understand. What what don't you understand? You were testing me if I was powerful enough. And I am. That's all there is to it. I see. So this is Pokemon battle. We have tried to investigate what it meant to battle with Pokemon, but it is quite different when you do it by yourself. At least it seems that the Pokeball we tried to create has worked properly to capture a Pokemon here in Alola. I have seen for myself how strong you are, you Alolan trainer. I am not Alolan, I am from Kanto. So, Dels, what are we gonna do? Trainer, you should know that this one here warps away if it's threatened in any way. And the holes that are torn open as a result in my dangerous beings into this world. But perhaps, but perhaps, things will be alright as long as there are trainers like you in Alola. What about that girl, though? That girl should have nothing to do with our investigations, nor this Pokemon of hers. As long as no one is foolish enough to open up a path that could lead here from Magalo Tower. Let's carry on, Saucy. A little bit more exposition on these Ultra Recon Squad dudes. That was a cool battle. I appreciate it. Oh, we're getting a lot of experience because we had that Rotom power. I act yeah. Which is actually running out. Pew! And we nag Nebby, I guess? Oh, yeah. Oh, you! You! <laughs> thank you, Mega Rex. I should thank Furfur too. Here, let me at least do this. Another free heal! Nice! This is getting silly and ridiculous. You know, I read something interesting in a book once. It seems the Pokemon called Oricorio changes appearance by fearing on the nectar from different types of flowers. It's not actually evolving, but undergoing a so-called form change. Isn't that interesting? Well, uh, whatever. Pew! Back into back, please, Nebby. I know there aren't many people around to see you here, but that's hardly an excuse. And I can see one person right there. I guess we should be going now. The professor will probably be worried after the way we just disappeared on him. Alright, so another free full heal. Not bad. Hey, Megarex! Oh, and Lily's with you too. Where are you up to, how? Just finished up my trial. <laughs> hey, Megarex. I want to see if I really learned anything from my trial. Let me battle you again. And the rival battle. Right after that team... Whatever, Ultra Recon Squad battle. But well, thankfully we got full heal. You're chilling with Pokemon Trainer How. Pokemon Trainer How sent out Rollet. Oh, that's nice. 
he didn't throw it out of the Pokeball because he was walking out with him. That's super neat. That's a little details, so I appreciate them a lot. Okay. We should be able to take down this encounter if we just spam Echo Voice, right? Arr. Yeah, this should be enough. Unless we take too much damage from this. No, we uh, actually took like nothing. Oh, this should be a breeze. And that's gonna be a waste of an Echo Voice. Too bad. Oh wow, he was using a citrus berry. Getting competitive there, eh, how? Oh, slow down again. Yeah, we have to keep using Echo Boys to keep the damage doubling going. And we're just going to one-shot his next Pokemon. With no trouble whatsoever. Now we get level 17. Well, let's take down this guy. Have to cut the audio a little bit there. Hope it's not too bad. Alright, this position should pose no problem to us. We're even faster. There it goes. Eh, that was very easy. Oh man, I want to show my Pokemon's best side more! So you and me both beat that totem Pokemon, huh, Mega Rex? I'm not sure how you did it with those Pokemon. They were pretty weak. Looks like we're getting pretty strong. I'm not stopping now. I'm gonna use this momentum to beat my old Gramps too. Hey, the Mega Rex! I knew I could count on you, yeah! Thanks for dragging Liggity down for me. What's this then? How? You finished your first trial too? I bet you used some styling moves, yeah? <laughs> yeah, oh, thanks to Rowlet. I was probably rubbing his hands together in glee right about now, oh yeah! What do you mean? It's all part of the trials, yeah? After you killed one of the trials, you get a battle that island's Kahuna. Taking on the island Kahuna in battle is called the Grand Trial. For someone like me who's researching Pokemon moves, nothing could be better than the chance to see some more fierce Pokemon battles, woo! I don't know about fierce. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, back to Ichi Town. Catch the Tailwind and blast through Route 3. Alright. Random power effects were off. Yeah, I noticed. Thanks. Okay. So we were about to beat every trainer on Route 3 to hopefully learn Roost. You should see this place during the day. What? Okay. I guess. I don't get it. And there's another trainer. Who we are going to face with... Uh, let's get some more action with Rowan. I'll draw the power of my partner, curl it, by giving them an item to hold. Oh, nice! We're gonna be facing a fire type Pokemon with a water type. Again, I did not know this, but we made the right choice. Unfortunately, we're not strong enough to, to one round it, so we're gonna have to use two water guns. But that doesn't seem to be very. Uh, annoying? Like, we keep getting these free heals and getting all our PP refilled over and over. I guess it's because it's just the beginning of the game. It's been really easy. Alright, we got to level 15. Nice! A uh, good move, actually. Let's get rid of. Huh, 20 PP. Let's get rid of this roll. Don't really see the point of having it. Kind of to level 14. And we defeated Rising Star Joshua. 
Well, you could have used an item. Jerk. Let's grab the super potion. Always glad to have more of these. And there should be more trainers here. Are you a trainer? No, you're not. Oh, you're local, aren't you? I got a favor. I, I want to ask someone like you. Please, you've got to help me. Okay. Oh, thanks, kid. That's the yellow spirit. You're also nice here. I'm actually here on my honeymoon, and my beautiful bride has completely fallen for this Pokemon you have here called Sableye. I heard that Sableye along with Carving, which live in Tankarat Hill. Could you catch a Sableye for me in Tankarat Hill? If you do, I can check out some version of decks and I can go catch one myself. I'll even pay you for your hassle. Think of it as a bit of part-time work, okay? Well, if I happen to find the Sableye, that's my first encounter. I'm definitely gonna try to catch it, but I'm not making any promises here, man. Now let's go get those berries. Of course, they have a crop roller. Because why not? Should be fighting type, right? If I'm yeah, so perfect. I don't think it's gonna be a one hit. Look out! Oh, it was! Nice! Right, some more experience for our guys. You obtained a Chester Berry. You obtained a Citrus Berry. Man, Citrus Berry are, are going to come handy so much. And a Cherry Berry, in case we get paralyzed. Why not? And an F Ball. Uh, let's hope we can get an encounter. Nice, we got through. Uh, let's go talk to the guy that wanted us to beat every trainer in Route 3, since I believe we've managed to do so. Hey buddy! So you've defeated all of the trainers on Route 3, have you? You have shaken me from my calm repose. My heart was a steel water, but no longer. Shall we start? Let's have a soul-shaking battle. Sure! That's a good reply. I will stand before you as a roost move user. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Your challenge with Ace Trainer McKenna. Well, that's certainly a kind of Hawaiian name. If that makes any sense? McKenna, huh? There's low folk. Let's hope it's not too high level. Oh, oh, 14. Well, he's now getting real. And our Psyduck can't even touch this guy. We got completely healed, and we have Spark. We're gonna let Thorin take the spotlight, for now. Also, I lost track of how long this video was, so I might be ending it soon. And we got... Beyond. So should we use Bug Bite? Actually, is it a Psychic type? I'm not sure. I think it's pure water, so we're gonna use Spark. Yeah. I know quite a bit about Pokémon, but... I tend to forget a lot of things. A lot of time. Ah, oh, that hurt a lot. Alright, this is not good. This didn't go as planned. So let's retreat. And let Keaton deal with this guy. Oh man. Well, this is not looking great. Come on. Get through the confusion and deal a headbutt. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. At least he got paralyzed. Well, this is an annoying guy to face. Elf, thankfully, we only got one turn of confusion. Let's hope we didn't get confused again. And we did it. Nice. I don't think another headbutt will cut it, though. But well, we're gonna try. Of course, he lived with 1 HP, because why not? And this guy is being annoying, and since I don't want to spend my item uses on Awakenings, we're gonna let Juna get a piece of this fight. At least it's getting interesting. Stronger trainer for once. Let's go for Echo Boys. There we go. Right, 165 serious points. 
and level up for Thora. I remember at what level does he evolve into Chargebug? A Chargebug, right? That's its name. And Butterfree! We should be able to deal with him fairly well. With Aerial Ace. Ah, let's see how we take this Silver Wind! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, that wasn't great. Yeah. But we might need a little help of our friend Arvis here. Man, if that was that was not very effective. And it wasn't even a critical hit. Of course he's gonna roost and heal. Shouldn't be a problem, since we're gonna get the one hit KO on the Fire Fang. But uh, man, that was scary actually. That was very powerful. I guess we are not letting Yuna take special attacks anymore. And we're already level 20. We might be a tad over level 40 silent. And Roland's gonna get a very good water type move. 60 power. And we're getting rid of that scratch. It's not doing us any favors. A lot of levels for all our team, nice. I think that you've wanted my pride, which is harder than diamonds. <laughs> and almost a thousand dollars for beating this guy. It was a fine battle. My heart feels as light as clear as the blue sky that appears from after a storm passes through. This is proof of the battle between your team and my own. Taking my strong friend. And we get the TM for Roost! I thought he was just going to teach us the move, like a move tutor, but it, we actually get the TM, nice! You will likely find other trains like me on the routes of Alola, searching for strength. Challenging them together with your Pokémon would not be a bad reason to take a journey. Nice! So now we get Roost. We get some, some way of self-healing on our playing type Pokémon. Yeah, the only Pokemon that can learn it. It's only 10 PP though. Do we want to teach it to him? Yeah, actually, Fear Attack isn't gonna do us any favors since we already got Aerial, Aerial Ace. Let's forget it. And get Roost. Alright. And with that, we're done with Route 3. And we're back on Route 1. And it's time to head over Icky Town again. Alright. We're gonna head into Icky Town and complete the Grand Trial in the next episode. I think this one was a little bit of a short one. I'm not sure since I lost track of how long it was and something came up. I had, I had to interrupt the, the audio a little bit. Yeah, my, my dogs were being silly and started barking, but I hope that doesn't hurt the video too much. Anyway, we're gonna be taking on the Master Trial, the Grand Trial, Master Trial, whatever it's called, in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, if you liked the video, please make sure to leave a like and a comment. Feel free to subscribe too if you really like this, as I will keep uploading, hopefully daily. Anyway, I'll see you next time, bye.